In this tutorial, you will learn how to set up a dynamic list. Dynamic lists can be used in a variety of activities. As you can see in this example, the list of visible words in each category changes each time the plus sign is pressed. This is because dynamic lists are programmed to modify the content in the cells. Thanks to dynamic lists, it is possible to provide more vocabulary items and have them fit in a single page. Let's learn how to set up dynamic lists in a similar activity. In this example, a user can express a preference about what to wear. There are two categories on the page, colors and clothes. Let's create a dynamic list for each category. Open the tools menu and then Select Dynamic Lists, click on the plus sign, and type a name for the new dynamic list. This will be the list about colors. Leave the location at Current Document, and click OK. Click the button, Create Multiple Items, to add items to the dynamic list. From the Choose Symbol window, Browse your symbol libraries and select the images for the list. Click OK when the list is complete. Follow the same steps to create the list about clothes. First, click on the plus sign and type a name for the list. Then, select the items. When the list is complete, click OK. Review the items on both lists. Change the labels or your selections if necessary. Now, set up the cells on the page, so they can display the items in each list. Switch to Edit Mode, by selecting Edit, and then Edit Mode. Or press F2 on your keyboard. Double click, or right click, the first empty cell, to open the cell edit window. Change the type to Dynamic Lists, and select the list, Colors, from the drop-down menu. Click OK. Repeat the same steps for the other two cells. Double click or right click the cell with the plus sign, add the action, dynamic list, and select next. Then Choose the list colors from the drop down menu. Click OK. Exit Edit Mode by selecting Edit and then Mouse. Or press F2 on your keyboard. Click on the plus sign to test the first dynamic list. Right click the cell colors. Add the action, Dynamic List, and select, Go to Beginning. Then, choose the list, Colors, 
From the drop-down menu, click OK. Each time this cell is selected, the list of colors will start from the beginning. Repeat the same steps to set up the cells in the category Close. Exit edit mode, save your work, and test the activity. Today, I would like to wear a red. Shirt and purple shorts. Today I would like to wear a red shirt and purple shorts. 